Look at it here. The battery laid off. This will stop the suspension going nuts. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna warm this load up. Keep it away from this wire. This will make this job so much easier. This is a 21 mil. Just gonna turn that off. Twenty-one. Nice big hammer on it. Where she's going already. See, look how easy that is. Using a hammer, shocks the threads, and it comes off easy. There, look at that. Just a little bit of heat, look. Can you see? Easy straight. Hitting it with that, and then the other bolt won't turn. It's just getting all the rust off the threads. There we go. So always remember, just use a little bit of heat. Just takes a couple of minutes out your life. Look at that. How easy is that? This day, as you can see, the bush is completely knackered. So as you can see, we haven't taken the brake caliper off. you don't want to touch the nut because it's red hot. Just let it drop on the floor. Okay, just going to give it a couple of taps. This will shock the bolt out of its, uh, its position. Take that cam off. Watch it because that'll be still quite warm. There we go. That doesn't want to go on there, does it? Let's just hammer that on. Go. Just give that a good turn. I'm just going to wind it out. Right, so next job. Just me and me paper. I'm just going to clean round some memory. Make sure that's all nice and clean. some red diesel. A bit of buffalo. 
kitchen cleaner. Okay, that's all nice and clean now. Ready for the new bush. Right, so when you do this, put a little bit of red diesel on there. This is what I do. Okay. Slide that. That's a perfect fit. Okay, you can do it either way. Come from this end or this end. So let's go through here. This fits on the frame. Once I adjust it, let's get this adjusted first. Then you spindle that. Okay, that fits on there like that. That's a 19 mil nut. Snug that. Okay, we're just about there now. So this is a 25 mil. Here, yeah. and what we're going to do now, we're just going to take it easy and draw it in. Nice and slow at first. Now that diesel lubricant will make this easier. Uh, can you see that's just popped in? There she goes. So what we're going to do, we're going to draw that until this is flush with this. Don't go too far because you go all the way out and pop out the other side. So as soon as this meets there, we're flush. This is for you DIYers out there. This is very easy, this job. As you can see, this this isn't my fault, this is rotten. I'm going to be putting a new back plate on here shortly. As you can see, nice and easy, does it? You can put a strap around there to make this easy, but that's quite easy to push down, to put the ball through. So I don't bother, it's just something else to mess about with. As you can see, it's going in there nicely. Best with a nice bit of lubrication. You see, we're getting there now. The new bush is just about in. So don't be frightened of this job. The garage is full, take your eyes out trying to do this. The worst part is taking the ball out if it's absolutely rotten. Sometimes it comes out easy. Right, we're just about flush there now. Touch more until you can't see the silver anymore. And we're in. Okay, get your 19 mil spanner. Just slacking you off. There she goes. Take this out. There's the new bush. Nicely placed. Very easy. Okay. Now a lot of people say you've got to mark these. You don't. Here's your two cams. You will have to get an alignment after this is finished. That's what we're going to do now. I'm going to jack the car up. 
So you can see what this adjusts, it's the camber. Can you see it? That's okay. This is what this bush. I want to see how strong I am. There you go. So make sure there's the cam. in there nicely you will have to get this all aligned up it's no good marking it like a lot of people say because it's an old bush it's warm so it's out of sync there you go so here's the new cam let's stick it on the side do you want to grab that one Yeah, the cam fits in there nicely. When you put the nut on, make sure you've got some copper slip on it on the threads, then it'll be easy to come off next time. Or it'll be easier for the guys at the alignment shop. somewhere to have a guess where it wants to be that'll be all right there like i said uh, this needs adjusting it's the camber take it to your local shop just film from the above Everybody makes over tightening things. It ain't gonna come off. too tight. So there you go, I'm trying to tidy that up a bit. So there's a new bush in. Make sure you stick that back in there. That just pops in. Okay. So that's all you really need to take out. That, you don't need to take any of this off. You need two jacks really. You need a jack underneath this as well. I've just got the one jack. So we're done here. 